asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. So continuing on with my asexual dating series and particularly the breakup I had recently. If you haven't watched that video, uh, please do. Um, this is all about the breakup process and um, about giving gifts back to the stores, basically. So, um, yeah, I'm still cut up about the breakup. Uh, it was still really, really sudden change in behaviour on his part. I don't know what went on, who he was speaking to or, you know, or what he was doing or thinking really um, to change so suddenly. But anyway, um, it is what it is. Um, obviously not meant to be, you know. He, he said that I taught him how, you know, um, to love and to be loved I taught him what it's like to love and to be loved so I'm pretty devastated that he obviously didn't love me because you know anyway um so yeah um I re really was thinking about him and caring about him a lot so I know his favorite um DC character is Flash and his favorite film's coming out soon on the cinema and this is what I bought him for Christmas so I've now got to take back to the shop I mean, it's really nice. I know he would have loved it. So, um, sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional still because I care about it a lot. Um, so this is a really awesome gift that I know he would have loved. And obviously I thought I was going to be together with him for Christmas. I didn't have any idea I wasn't going to be. So, um, yeah. So this, he loved Flash. I think Flash is probably somewhere on here. It's uh, I think that's him there, but um, yeah, there's no characters, and it's a lovely mug, and then um, chocolates, and a key ring as well, and it's a really nice gift. No, I don't eat chocolate, even I like the gift. I think it's beautiful, and I know he would have loved it. And I'm not working at the moment; I'm redundant. I was made redundant from my job of almost five years. Um, you know, recently, so for me to get anything, uh, Christmas presents is quite significant um because i don't have any money coming in apart from a, a bit of money for housing benefit at the moment um so yeah but my outgoings are far higher so yeah i got him this gift um i would have loved to have given it to him um i loved the gorgeous person i first thought he was and um i know he would have loved that so that's what i bought him oh sorry about this and um, we would have been together over a month this weekend when he's supposed to be coming to see me. And this is what I got for our anniversary. Sorry, I'm really emotional at the moment. Uh, they don't have a blue one. So yeah, it's pink, even for a guy. But hey-ho, I don't kind of like gender stereotypes all the time. Sorry, this video is really difficult to do. So it says, uh, laugh together, listen, talk, trust say sorry says please thank you smile kiss hug hold hands appreciate each other always remember why you fell in love um <laughs> guess his love wasn't real but mine genuinely was and i did trust him a lot despite the fact i have trust issues i gave him a lot of trust so there you go uh, i was gonna give him that oh, i don't have the receipt for that so hopefully the the shop will swap it and this is what I got to put in his wallet. Soulmates, because he used to say we're always soulmates. When I found you, I found me. Now, this was a bit hard buying this because I'm whole without, you know, without having um, a partner. I'm still whole, so I still have me. But then, like, I kind of like soulmates. I kind of see them as another version of me. Uh, just in different form, with different taste, you know. Just sort of someone who compliments me. So, yeah, that's what I meant, really. And I thought it was so cute. A very asexual card, yeah. So I thought you could put that in his wallet and think of me. So, yeah. It comes a little envelope. Uh, so you can write on the back. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, I was thinking about him a lot of the time. Um, yeah. Even though I don't have much money, I still wanted to give him a little something. Just to know I cared because I really want him to know I loved him and cared about him and he felt loved by me and I said I brought out the best in him 
you know, so I don't know what changed. He seemed to think that I wasn't having, I don't know, any life or something, but I wasn't having my life. Just my life changed. I mean, anyone who's made redundant is not going to be feeling great about their life, are they? <laughs> really? But I still love my life. Um, even now, with the breakup, I still love my life. He obviously wasn't meant for me. He obviously chose me his true colours and um, put me in a position where we can no longer be together. So that's okay. Um, one day I'll get a guy who appreciates me buying gifts for him. Appreciates the time and thought and energy I put in. Especially under a very stressful time where I'm trying to find a job. And um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll take those gifts back tomorrow. And that's going to be kind of hard even to take them back because they were meant for him. And when you've got an intention of having them for someone, it's kind of like they shouldn't really be for anyone else or go back, if you know what I mean. So it's like going backwards. But hey ho, these things happen in life. Um, I wish them the best, you know. Anyway, um, until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's. I hope that if you're going through any breakup that you know that life will get better. That, you know, it's not life or death. At the end of the day, we've still got a life. We still breathe. Um, there are thousands and thousands of people out there. Yeah, we might be 1% of the population, but just remember that's one in every 100 people we meet is asexual. Um, and there is still hope. So never, ever give up hope. And... Um, even though it was only love for a brief time, it was that the time that it was good was good. But yeah, he was no good for me in the end. So I understand why I had to split with him. I won't have anyone having anything over me they could control me with. Anyway, until next time, embrace your quirky and each other. Stay strong, and I will see you on the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and I will endeavour to help you on your asexual journey while sharing my own asexual journey with you. Take care. Bye-bye.